been able to confirm that the Pope's ring has been stolen. Ironically, the Dream Team was no less than five miles away in Rome. The Italian people are outraged that the tornado was able to pull this off right under their noses. <laughs> Mr. Peppers, was the Dream Team sleeping last night during the theft? No comment. Do you think they will ever recover the ring? If I made a comment after I'd said no comment, I'd look like a complete ass, wouldn't I? Vincenzo Rocara Squarita Lupi Branca Leon swears to you by all that is holy that St. Peter's ring will be restored to the church. Please sit down. Now, Mr. Pope, do you happen to know right now the whereabouts of your hat? My hat? Yes, your big pointy hat. No, I don't know. Hmm. Then I am probably sitting on it. I thought I felt a little freak. Ooh, this can be fixed. As good as new. No, scusa. Mm -mm. How do we know it wasn't you who stole the ring so you could collect on the enchantment? I am the Pope. Forgive me, Mr. Pope. It's just that sometimes when I speak so forcefully, people just crack instantly. Now, was the ring insured? The ring is priceless. It cannot be insured. So you had no reason to steal the ring? I own the ring. Perhaps you wanted to sell the ring so you could live in a big, fancy house. I kind of do. Hmm. Now, let me reconstruct the crime. You came into the room when? At nine o'clock. And what was the first thing you did? I went out on the balcony to admire the Lord's handiwork. The moon that night was so beautiful it made me close to the Lord. I'm picking up on something. You're a very spiritual man, aren't you? It's part of my job to read people. I think I'm quite good at it too. And then what did you do? I removed my robes. And you put them? In the closet. May I? Certainly. Ah. You know, if you organized your closets by color, it would save you time in your rush to get to work in the morning. It's what I do, and it saves me time. Now, in order to better visualize the crime, I'm going to place myself in your position, with your permission. Oh, certainly. Hmm. Hmm. So, I come home, it's 9 p.m. I think I'll go look at the moon. I am going out onto the balcony. <coughs> ah, I walk out on the balcony. I am now out on the balcony. <laughs> I am looking at the moon. I am looking at the moon. I'm feeling very, very spiritual. I come back in. And what did you do next? I went out for the second time. You went out a second time to look at the moon. <laughs> Looking at the moon, 18 seconds has gone by. Ha <laughs> ha! 18 seconds is enough time for the thief to have gained entrance. Now you see why it's important to recreate the events. Or perhaps the thief was hiding in a ledge or recess. Or perhaps he was clinging to the 
the underside of the. Oh! Oh! 